So as I was keeping up over on Twitter with the Democratic debate tonight, I saw a lot of people talking about Jaclyn Hill deleting her Twitter. And lo and behold, yes, Jaclyn Hill deactivated her Twitter as well as her Instagram. This is something I haven't talked about much on my channel, but there's actually a lot that we can learn from it. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at what's going on in the YouTube community or pop culture and try to see what lessons we can pull from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. Like we gotta take this mess and turn it into a message because there's always something we can learn. But anyways, if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you haven't yet, make sure you're following me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired so because I just finished writing my new book, Rewire Your Anxiety, and I'm currently recording the audiobook. So both of those should be out this weekend. I got my editor working on the audiobook and everything like that. So make sure you're following me on social media. I'm giving away 20 free copies already. I picked some winners from a contest I did not too long ago, but I plan on giving away more free copies as well. But you gotta follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. All right, so yeah, anyways, um, I haven't talked much about the Jaclyn Hill situation. I think I made one video about it when the situation first happened. But anyways, I saw today that she deleted her Instagram and Twitter for a little bit of a mental health break. And I, I, I wanna make it clear, like if any of you are new to my channel, you don't know me too well, like I am so against cancel culture for a variety of reasons. And here's why, like while I do believe that people should be held accountable, I do not believe in not giving people chances. The, the main reason being, I'm a recovering drug addict and alcoholic. I just celebrated seven years sober, and I don't think anybody, you know, should just be completely canceled or written off because we do it too much with our prison system here in America, with drug addicts, with alcoholics, with people with mental illness and things like that. I believe in people learning and growing from their mistakes. But what we're gonna be talking about with Jack and Jacqueline Hill is that she made quite a few missteps, and I don't think she realizes how she took these missteps. But again, like a lot of you out there watching this, I want you to reflect on your own lives and say, oh my God, like what can I learn from this situation? I know a lot of you out there, you're not starting your own makeup lines. If you are, you go. But anyways, like um, I, there's still things that you can learn from it. So anyways, the first thing that I saw, like when she came out and she made like her, her kind of like apology video, I, I use quotations because it wasn't really an apology. Now, here's the thing. As a recovering drug addict and alcoholic, I've had to make a lot of apologies, all right? Part of, you know, the program that I work, you know, we make amends to people, all right? When, when we wrong somebody, we make amends, we ask how we can make this better. And when we do this, we take 1,000% responsibility for this. We don't point fingers at anybody, we don't blame anybody else. Like, when I make amends to people, I don't say, okay, well, you know, hey, I'm sorry I did this to you, but had it not been for, you know, being raised by an alcoholic mom or me having a traumatic childhood, I wouldn't have done that, right? Right? So that was one of the issues with Jaclyn Hill's video when she came back with that little apology because she didn't take full responsibility. Like, I wish more people followed Gary Vaynerchuk. He, he talks a lot about this personal responsibility. Like, everything that happens is his fault, right? And this is how a lot of us need to operate. And especially when it comes to our own mental and emotional well-being, there's something called locus of control, right? People with an external locus of control they are much more depressed, they're usually more anxious, because these are people who think that the rest of the world is causing all of their problems. People with an internal locus of control, they believe that their actions have a direct influence on the results in their life, right? They feel much more in control. So it actually is beneficial to take responsibility for these things. But in Jacqueline Hill's video, she blamed the lab and everything like that. Now, one of the things was like, Body language and how you talk is very important. And this is another reason why, if any of you out there have heard me talk about mindfulness, start practicing mindfulness. Be more mindful of the way that you're talking to people. Like, when I watched her video, I was like, girl, why are you yelling at me? Like, why are you getting mad at me, right? Like, she came off very abrasive. So if you're somebody out there who's trying to make something right, like, notice the tone in your voice. Now, one of the things is I actually sat down and I watched the entire Marlena Stell video from yesterday. And those of you who don't know me, clearly I don't, I'm not a makeup person, right? But um, 
I, I try to, you know, keep an eye on what's going on in the YouTube community. I remember Marlene Estelle last year and everything like that. But anyways, what was interesting was Marlene Estelle saying that she warned Jaclyn Hill about that specific lab. Now, like, you guys, do me a favor. If you haven't yet, and you probably have if you're watching this video, go check out the video. I'm gonna link it down below in the description from a biochemist named Kenna. Myself and my beautiful girlfriend, Tristan, just watched it, and this, this girl knows her stuff. And, like, it's really cool. Like, she got over a million views on her Jaclyn Hill video, but I think this is needed because I think, I think more people who are using makeup and interested in this stuff, like, I think that's something cool. Like, this is a new niche, right? Like, people like looking at this stuff and examining it and explaining it, right? Because what we're learning with this Jaclyn Hill situation is that there are things that could be potentially harmful. You know what I mean? But anyways, go check out her video because she talks about a lot of inconsistencies with what Jaclyn Hill was explaining about, you know, the lab and how that thing worked, right? Just like when it comes to the cotton gloves and how no lab would do that and how they actually clean those vats and everything. Now, one thing I will say is this, and again, this isn't necessarily letting Jacqueline Hill off the hook, but it felt like Jacqueline Hill was relaying information that she was getting. In my personal opinion, it feels like Jacqueline Hill is getting a lot of input right now and that's one of the issues. But anyways, what I really wanna talk about too is that I think a lot of her problems are stemming from the fact that she hasn't just done a recall. So what that um, young woman, uh, Kenna, talked about in her video is like, it's standard procedure. It's standard procedure that if this is damaging, you do a recall. So my background is actually um, in the car service industry. So the first service advisor job I had was for Ford. And around that time, like, 1999 and 2000 Fords like Expeditions and F-150s that had a recall for this cruise control module that was catching on fire, right? Now, it didn't mean that all of them were gonna catch on fire, but there was a possibility that that part could catch on fire. So they recalled all of them. And this is where it feels like pride and ego is getting in the way. Like, obviously there's different things that you have to take into consideration when it comes to running a business and everything like that. But like when I see that Jaclyn Hill took a mental health break because of all this, like the girl just needs to recall. Like she just needs to recall it, right? But anyways, here's, um, here's some information from uh, an Instagram account. I actually saw this, like uh, T-Spill tweeted this, so I don't know if it's accurate, but it said this. Jacqueline's social media accounts are down. She needs time away from the criticism. Jacqueline is a human like all of us and we all make mistakes. I can look back at quite a few in my life. It's not easy when you're down and you see all the negativity. Some forget Jacqueline has had great success as well. I don't need to list them in this point. But I will say her kind heart is one of the greatest attributes and that to me is success. I know I will also be attacked by some saying, how can I know this information? Her boyfriend's mom is a very kind person and follows me. I messaged her because I was worried. Jacqueline is safe. She needs time. XO Stacy. So when it comes to this, like this is where I, I hope just as people, we can have just some empathy, right? Like this, this sucks for anybody, right? And I like, I do think that while Jacqueline Hill made some missteps in this situation, I don't think she is like this terrible, malicious person. Here's a good example of this, all right? So one of the things, first we'll talk about Hanlon's razor. If you're new here, I love me some Hanlon's razor. Hanlon's razor says, do not attribute to malice, which could easily be attributed to stupidity or ignorance, all right? So I remember when TanaCon happened. Okay, and like, look where Tana Mojo is now, like MTV show getting engaged to Jake Paul or whatever. But anyways, there was like conspiracies going around, like she did this on purpose. She wanted to overcrowd TanaCon and have it fail so she got more attention. Like, like I don't imagine Tana Mojo as being this evil genius. I think she was a dumb kid out for revenge and this happened. So when I look at Jaclyn Hill, I don't see a person who was malicious in this situation. I think there's some stupid moves that were happening, but something that's been brought up is that this feels like it was rushed, right? It feels like this situation, like she was trying to get products out there. And I just watched the eight, uh, the new Atozi video on this. And it's something that I thought as well, like 
um, I haven't been following Jacqueline Hill for too long, but my, my girlfriend and others have filled me in on it. And like, she's been working on this for like five years, right? Like five years. And some of us, we just get so impatient, right? And when it comes to patience, like, here's just what I wanna teach people. We have to look at what just happened to Jacqueline Hill, right? And this happens to so many of us. Like, we want to rush things. We just want to get this thing done, right? We want our life to get better now. We want to improve it now. We want to make money now. We want to do all these things now, 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 now. But if we don't take our time in that process, like, what we're seeing right now is a perfect example about how all that stuff can come crumbling down. Because Jacqueline Hill would have been fine if she waited a month, two months, six months. You know what I mean? But it seems like this was rushed. But I want you to take a look at your own life. Like, what processes are you trying to speed up right now? What are you trying to get involved in and make happen right now, right? And how much is that affecting you? Like, your beliefs that you need this right now. Maybe you think you need a relationship right now, or you need all this money right now, or you need a car right now, or whatever it is. Sometimes we really need to look at this, and like, this is something I've been working on personally a lot lately, is really just appreciating the process and focusing on the process and not trying to hurry through and just get that result that we want. You know what I mean? So again, if you're watching this Jacqueline Hill situation, like try to see what you can take from this and learn from it yourself. You know what I mean? But anyways, let me know down in the comments below like what what you can relate to in this situation. Like when it comes to apologizing, like do you pass the blame or do you know people who pass the blame? Do you have an issue with rushing through things and things not turning out as well as they could? Like how can you personally relate to this situation? But anyways, at the end of the day, you know, I, I hope the best for Jacqueline Hill. I hope she comes out on the other side of this thing. I hope she comes out better and stronger. She's made some mistakes in the past with some other things. But anyways, like these are things that people need to learn and grow from. All right, but hopefully she just recalls the product. Again, check out that biochemist video I talked about. It's gonna be linked down below. It's like 23 minutes. Very, very good. And like, if you are into makeup and you're just kind of like into like extra stuff and learning, like go subscribe to Kenneth's channel. It was really cool. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And don't forget, follow me over on Instagram and Twitter because Rewire Your Anxiety is coming out this weekend and I'm giving away free copies and you want links to the ebook and the audiobook and all that stuff, all right? And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. If you want to become a patron, support the channel, maybe get a free copy of the book, click or tap right there. All right, thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you next time.